right, I am here. Welcome to another edition of Athletes Corner. And today we are joined by Boston English head coach, Eric McCoy and star player, Makai Diedrich. How are you two doing? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. All right. Doing well, no complaints too. No complaints. The, 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 season, the season started, you know, you guys are three, you guys are three games in, the season started, but first before I talk about last night, just the whole process of having a season coach, can you just tell me about this process and all your years of coaching and just, you know, what's transpired? Um, you know, this year, you know, with the COVID had been different, you know, because there's a lot of uh, adjusting that we must do um, as coaches, as players as well, um, you know, to get ready to play a season like this, you know, as, as far as like wearing masks, um, the hand sanitizing, um, make sure that your players stay safe, um, that they're not catching COVID, um, you know, just trying to keep everything as clean as possible, you know, due to the circumstances. So, you know, having a season is, is good, especially for these kids, you know, who they're always on Zoom, you know, all day long um, with their classes. So to be able to get them out, you know, to have a, a chance to play um, the sport that a lot of them love and was looking forward to, it, it's good for these, for these kids, you know, and, you know, starting the season was, was good. And, you know, hopefully we can all remain safe and get through the, the season. Yeah. For, for you, Makai, as a student athlete, you know, not, not being able to be in school with all your friends and, you know, there was some questions about if there was a season was going to happen or not. Just for you, how were you able to, one, stay focused and two, just make have yourself prepared for the season in case you guys were going to have one? Um, well, at first, um, how things was looking, I really didn't think we was going to have one. You know, I was really like feeling down and stuff. But um, what I did basically was um, just make sure I stay in the gym. Any any chances I did have to go get in the gym and get better, that's what I was doing. So if I hopefully have the season, I will be prepared for it. And when I found out we had a season, even though it was shortest, I was just happy that, you know, we got the opportunity so we could try to make a run and everything. Yeah, damn. Coach, how was, how was it the process to make sure that they – they stay conditioned, they stay working on their craft and also, you know, stay focused in the classroom. Just how, how, how difficult was it for you just to make sure you get, you had them on a good, on a, on a workout plan that they're able to get the workout in. Cause you know, so many gyms were closed and uh, limited participation to be in gyms and limited participation as a group. Well, for us, it, you know, like you said, it was, we had limited access to the gym due to the COVID. Um, but the good thing about us is that, you know, I have a, a good friend um, who I can reach out to and who was able to get the guys, you know, and do some personal training with them, um, get them on the beach, um, do some Zoom meetings with them to do conditioning through Zooms, um, you know, just to make sure they, they stay somewhat in somewhat type of condition, you know, whether it's body weight, push up with push ups, sit ups, um, jumping jacks, at least they was active to do something. So Zoom played a big part. And then also, you know, having, like I said, a good friend who was able to get them out to do different act act activities, you know, that would help them to stay in shape. Uh, now let's, let's talk about last night. I mean, ooh, 50, 50, 50. Kai, you out there getting buckets last night. Yeah. What what kind of zone were you in? Just, just tell me about this. Tell me about the game overall. I don't know. So basically, um, we, when we started off the game, they had hit, they had hit like two threes, two or three threes in a row. And they went up like six to zero, nine to zero. So um, so we start running our sets basically. And we run it, we're running our sets, and I'm just like passing, going through the sets, and they just leaving me open. So I'm just getting my shot off. And um my shot just was hitting. The rim was just like everything was just hitting. First half, I just got it going. Then I started getting my teammates involved. So I was just feeling it first half, and then second half just carried on to yeah. that. So I don't know. It was just a good game. Yeah, was it was it one of those that you know some people get fifty points, but it's taking a lot of shots and not you know playing team basketball. Was was it more satisfying that it came within the confines of what you guys do as a team? Yeah, yeah, it it, it all came within the system. Mm -hmm. Basically, um, I I think I had six assi six assists with it, mm -hmm. but um, I could have had more. I was trying to get I was trying to really like get like twelve assists on the game. That was my plan. I wasn't going for the fifty. But um, the 50 just came within um, their defense not stepping up, just allowing me to shoot in the first half. And I was just like 
and I was just hitting. But um, it definitely it wasn't it wasn't like a fifty where I was just taking a lot of shots and none of that. It was just like I was it was just falling basically. Yeah, coach. To bounce to to just to bounce off that, you know, how, how happy are you just as a coach to see, you know, some guys when they get in the zone, they get a little selfish and they do certain things that gets out of the offense. But how happy were you to see that your team, everything was being done within what you like to do as a team on offense, and the and your players knew that Makai had the high hand going, but they still were able to run this, their stuff and get good looks for him. Yes, it, it was it was a good feeling. Uh, you know, like like Makai said, he had it going. Um, so the guys, you know, tend to look to him. Um, but to Makai's benefit, um, he he was looking to get everyone involved. And, you know, he was being nice just now saying he could have had about 12 assists. If guys had a lot of open shots, he could have possibly had about 50, 50, 50 points and 20 assists, which would have probably been unheard of in, in high school basketball. Um, you know, so he was finding teammates. It was, they had good looks, uh, shots are going in and out. Um, so, you know, with those six assists, you know, and everybody might be like, oh, he scored 50, he scored 50, but that 50 could have easily been, you know, 40 to go with 20 assists, mm -hmm. you know, and he, he did a, he did a, a tremendous job, you know, and he knows I'm not one to give a lot of compliments, you know, so for me to call him last night and tell him, you know, Hey, <laughs> you, you bald, man. I can't take nothing from you. You know, he did everything right. Um, you know, he scored the points. Uh, and like he said, they was leaving him open. He rebounded. You know, he 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 trapped well. Um, got his hand on a lot of deflections, mm -hmm. which caused a lot of steals. He was, he played the passing lane. Um, you know, if, if you ever see the kid, you know, he he's long. So he used that to his full advantage last night. And, you know, and a lot of teams are going to throw, you know, double teams at him and he was able to still do what he can do mm -hmm. and at the same time keep his head up keep his dribble alive and, and find guys mm -hmm. you know so uh, a lot of a lot of the you know what he did last night goes goes out to him you yeah. know and like he said we, we ran our sets to the fullest and, and guys got to the spots where they're supposed to be at mm -hmm. um you know and that's just a, a tremendous job and at the same time he was a, a great leader to make sure that he got everyone involved and, mm -hmm. and keep everyone involved because, you know, we got to come back Friday and we got to play that same team, okay. you know, and then we, and we, then we play against Saturday. So it, it's going to, it's a tough road, but you know, I think with the kids we have and the way he's leading, we're ready for it. We're ready for it. Makai, was that something that you, was that one of your goals for this season? Just uh, as far as leadership, just, you know, be more of a leader by not only showing but also helping out the other guys, you know, just getting them involved. You no, know, you could get your points when you want to, but being a leader is how you have other guys get involved. Was that something that you had set for yourself this season? Yeah, um, definitely because um, going into last year and stuff, I wasn't really, I would say I wasn't, I was young. I wasn't really ready to uh, take on that leadership role. And, you know, that cost us losing some games and, you know, not having the best team chemistry and stuff. So going into this year, I knew I was going to be a junior. I would have to step up, be a better leader for my teammates because, you know, everybody looks up to me. So basically, you know, instead of like pouting, uh, just encouraging my teammates and stuff, trying to be a better leader, trying to help them out. Because if I'm leading, everything is going to go good. Everything's going to do better than me just like being down on my teammates and stuff. So I really was trying to be um, a leader this year and stuff. So And it's been helping us right now with two and one. So we could really make a run. I just got to keep being a leader. I mean, yeah, so... You know, three games into the season so far, I want to get both your thoughts. Just, you know, just as assess the first three games. How do you think you guys have done the first three games? And, you know, what are some areas that you guys know you can do a lot better in as the season goes on? Basically, um, I, well, we're two and one the first three games. First game, I feel like we got a good dub. We got a good win. But I think we could have won by more. I think um, during the game around second, third quarter, we had like a 12-point lead. We got a little comfortable and let them come back. They start coming back. We only won the game by three points. We definitely could have won by more, though. So I think just staying disciplined, um, you know, getting a little sloppy, we could have um, really won. So that was a home game. Second game, we played the same team, but we went into their home. You know, they came in um, double teaming me and, like, throwing defensive defense at me and stuff. You know, and I, I had a bad first quarter, but I had to bounce back. And then within the second and third quarter of that game, it was just a back-and-forth game. Like, it was anybody's game. 
and we went into the fourth quarter of that game um basically down two and um we was we was running our sets and stuff and it just um you know me and my teammates just um the ball falling out and like you know like it's just not going in it wasn't our it wasn't our day to win it, it was on their side so but I feel very confident playing that team again. I think we should have won that game. If we came out since the beginning playing hard, we wouldn't have that issue. And then this third game, we just won. Um, and we just – third game, I think we played the best. I think that was, like, a confidence booster for, like, all me and my teammates because that was that was just a chance for – it wasn't just me. Uh, another – like, lots of other kids on our team had good games. Like, our big man, he was good at rebounding. He was rebounding, putting the ball up. Our shooters was hitting. It was just, like, it was a confidence booster. So – I think heading into these next games, we only got eight games on the season, but I'm confident in winning all of them. I'm confident. Uh, Coach, what do, you, what, do you, what do you see as one of the biggest strengths of your team? Uh, I think one of the strengths is that, you know, I think we, we, we play hard. You know, we, we, we're not as, as talented as years past with the guys that I have this year, but we work hard. Um, I think we have a lot of guys that don't know no better. You know, I got a lot of new kids on the team. So they, they want to, they want to prove themselves. So, you know, they're going to do whatever it takes for them to prove themselves. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think that's one of the things that we do well is, uh, you know, and I think we, we're good at uh, defending this year. You know, mm -hmm. I, I went back and I watched the game last night and it was like, we was like a lot of like bees out there. We just swarmed to the ball, you know, and guys are moving. Um, so I think that's one thing that we do well. Um, is defend and you know we, we're going to play hard um, one thing that we definitely need to work on you know as a group is that we, we got to get better at rebounding we have to I think you know if we rebound better um, then you know with the guys that we have especially you know with, with a kid like Makai you know you get him the ball and he's playing downhill um, you know going against one-on-one -on -one against somebody in a full court or even one-on-two you know nine out of ten times but we're coming out of, out of the way with the victory mm -hmm. because a lot of teams can't stop in one, one on one, one on two, you know? So I think if we just rebound better, you know, it, it's going to be a fun, it's going to be fun to watch because now, like he said, we're going to get out. And I think after last night, um, going in today, you know, uh, you know, guys, the guys played well. It was, it was a booster for them, you know, a lot of the guys, you know, and I, and, you know, I don't usually wake up like this, but I woke up this morning and I felt great. Mm -hmm. I felt great. The first thing I did was text this kid, you know, and we talk, you know, and it's times like this kid, he calls me at three or four o'clock in the morning, just want to talk about basketball, you know, and that just shows like his, his maturity at the same time. I want him to be in bed sleeping, but you know, he, he wants to talk and we, we'll talk, we'll talk about basketball for an hour or so, you know, but you know, like he said, he, he's growing up, you know, from his freshman year to now, and you can see it, you know, from, him just being in a house more, you know, not saying that he, <clears throat> he was out in the street, but he's, he's in, he's always in the house now. Um, he's always trying to get in the gym. You know, it, it's times like he, he wants to get there super early to get a shot. So he wants to leave later, you know, and, and I, and I love that about him. He, you know, he, he doing a lot of things that I, I wouldn't expect him to do this year, but he's, he's doing them. He's doing them. You know, it's times, we get to practice at 4.30. We don't start the 5. He got the guys on the floor running through sets, mm -hmm. you know, and that just shows him growing up. Yep. You know, uh, so I, I love that about the kid. Also, one aspect is him scoring that many points. More double teams are going to be coming his way during the season. So now those other guys, now it's time for them to benefit off all the attention that he's drawing. You think, those, you know, those guys are ready for that because they're going to get so many – easy shots because teams are going to be so focused on him and trying to get the ball out of his hands. I, I think these, these guys are ready for that. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and, and they're starting to play with confidence. And I, and I seen that the other day in practice, you know, we, we battle that we battled in practice the other day. I let guys go at it and you can see the confidence that it's coming. It's growing, you know? So, uh, we had a couple of kids that wasn't with us, uh, in the first three games that are now back with us, that's going to help us a, a tremendous, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, due to injuries, but you know, now, you know, we're back to full strength. So it, it's going to be a different, different scene now, mm -hmm. you know, so now teams are not going to be able to double team them, and they double team them. I think he's good enough to find people 
Now it's going to be up to, like you said, these other guys dogging out shots. And I think once these other guys start to see shots going in, mm -hmm. it, it's going to be fun for them. And like I tell them all the time in practice, when we're in practice, you know, I say, hey, when you guys knock down shots, run down the court happy. High five each other. You know, let's get pumped up. Now when we get in our press, we get a couple of steals. You know, a lot of kids, you know, I have maybe like two kids that can dunk. But when they throw an alley oops to Makai, they get so happy. And they're like, you know, like a, a kid, kids in a candy store. And, I, and you know, that's a great attitude to have. So, you know, I think, you know, like, you did, like I just said, once we start, these other kids start knocking out shots, it's going to be fun to watch. Makai, for historical reasons, I, Coach, I don't know, is this the highest, is this the most points ever scored in school history? No, no, no. He had a, well, I don't know school history. But he had a quadruple double last year. Okay. So he had fifty. He had uh, what you have fifty? No, he had fifty. No, not a quadruple double. But a game in the uh before he had fifty four. No. Oh. Um, last year. So, you know that's that. So right now he haven't reached his uh, his high point yet. His career high. Yeah. The only person that can stop him is me, and I'm gonna stop him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Makai, that's two two fifty fifty points in in your career playing high school basketball. Yeah. I mean, just talk about accomplishing that. And not only that, but Coach said you had multiple assists, multiple rebounds. Or you pretty much, these 50-point games are coming with a good all-around game, too. The other aspects of your game are showing in these games. Can you just talk a little about that? Um, About the about the 50-point games and um the high-scoring games, I'm kind of, um like, I was going into um going into my sophomore year, it wasn't really expected. And... I really did it a lot. So um, now being known in the city for scoring a lot and some and, and more. But um, like I said, the 50 yesterday, it just came from me, like being open, me knocking down shots. But, um, you know, it's, it's good to be scoring a lot of stuff. But now I'm really focused on, like, making a run. A run. We haven't made cities um, for the past three years that I – two years that I was there. So now really – I really don't even care about the scoring. Anything it takes to make cities and, like – I'm just trying to win. That's that's really what it's all about right now. And you feel you guys you guys have the the group of guys that can make that run? Yeah, I'm real confident. Like coach said, um basically like the thing different about this team is we just got a lot of hard workers. <laughs> basically like, like I was saying, yeah, my mom was calling me. Um this team what's different about this team, I like just just a bunch of hard workers. Just just a lot of hard workers on the team like like Coach said, I practice like the practices are like they're great practices. Is we just going at it. My teammates is getting confident and stuff. So basically, it just it's just my teammates coming in right now. Um, um, it's just it's just good. Um, having um, this, get him on the camera. Oh, it it. I'm talking having an interview about the team and stuff. That's my guy. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? He, on here? He's back. He's he's back. He's playing with us on Friday and um, but basically it just it's just like. This team, um, not really. It's not really arguments. Not really, um, guys going at it. Just we real good connection and stuff, and we just really want to win. So do everything we can to win. So basically, that's just it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And you guys, you said eight. You guys got an eight game season, a short season. Got a game Friday. By the time this this interview is being done on Thursday, February eleventh. So by the time this comes out, they've already played a couple more games after this, uh, Coach. I want to thank you guys for, for taking the time. I mean, you guys got best of luck moving forward in the future. And just lastly, before we get out of here, I'd like for you two to plug in your social medias just for people to follow you guys and follow the program as well. Okay, okay. Instagram is Kai, K-A-H, K-H-I underscore H-O-H-M. And Twitter is Makai Diedrich 3, yeah. right? Yeah, Makai Diedrich 3. Awesome. And Coach? That's I. That's my IG right there. All right, E McCoy thirty four. Make sure you go follow them. Best of luck to you guys, and I just want to thank you guys once again for taking the time to to, to chat with me about last night's game and good best of luck moving forward. Appreciate it. All right, thank you, thank you. No doubt, you guys have been watching Athletes Corner. I'm your host, Mukala Kabongo. Have a great day.